I gotta like. It's recording already. <laughs> it's recording? Mm hmm. Wait, let me turn on this light so it looks prettier. Do you know what story you're gonna do? Oh, the one where I snuck my boyfriend into the house. My mom knows that already, so. Well, he wasn't my boyfriend at the moment, but then we. That's how. You hear the story, whatever. Hey guys, it's Yanelli, and today I have a really exciting video because it's gonna be my first story time video. I actually have a lot of story times that I would love to tell you, but I gotta take it one at a time, sadly. Some of them are like really private and nobody knows them, so I'll have to like be sure that I wanna say them. The only reason why I'm telling this story is because my parents already know this. Well, my mom does. And um, a lot, a couple people know this, so it's not gonna be like a big thing. And this one's actually really exciting, and it's really weird. And I don't know. I, I was just a crazy child. I don't remember much about what happened um, before that night or anything, but I do remember that my mom and my aunt and her husband had to go out. They wanted to like take a night for themselves and kind of like go, I guess, party or have some drinks. I don't know what they were doing. That was a long time ago. Um, and they asked me if I wanted to stay at my aunt's house because her stepdaughters were babysitting her children or her child. She had one child at the moment. What happened that night was a little crazy for my 12 year old self to handle. My Cousins had the habit of every time they stayed home alone, they would like bring their boyfriends over and stuff And I witnessed it like two times One time they brought like their boyfriends over and her parents and my cousin's parents were like coming in the driveway and Like her boyfriends had to sneak out through the backyard at the same time as they were coming in the driveway And that was so intense and crazy and I I was an angel. I was like I'm not telling because it's not my problem, you know, I was just in my room doing nothing. Um, but that's probably another story. Anyway, this has a lot to do with the one I'm telling you because this time we were home alone and we were really bored and my cousins were planning on bringing their boyfriends over again. So there was this boy I really had a crush on and my cousins knew that I had a crush on him and he dated one of like my friends before and I was like really nervous to like tell him because that would be like a kind of like breaking the friendship code whatever it is I don't know girls are weird I was really excited that they were bringing like boys over but I was not because I, I knew that they probably would get in trouble but then I realized that they never got in trouble for it before so why not yeah they had done it before and I was like okay what the heck just do it I'm okay with it whatever turns out I ended up taking care of the baby more than they were because they were too busy hanging out with their boyfriends in the backyard and i was so bored and the baby fell asleep and stuff like that and my neighbor uh, i'm gonna call him charles because i don't, I don't want to say his name um charles is the kid that i had a crush on for a long time he wanted to come in he was knocking at the front door and i was like i don't think i can let you in because we're home alone and we're not supposed to bring any boys over and he was like well i know your cousins have boys over so i think he said that he would tell or something if i didn't let him in but like my cousins i asked them though and they said oh we're gonna let him in because we know him and he was like my aunt's best friend's kid so i was like okay that's good later on we're all talking in the living room and we're playing games and being funny and whatever my cousin decides to go to the room with her boyfriend if you ask me why they were doing i have no idea i never asked i didn't care she went to the room with her boyfriend and that's all i remember my other cousin was in the backyard and i was in the living room sitting by myself and the kid charles comes to the living room and he starts talking to me and then he starts asking me stuff like really weird things and i was like okay yeah and he like asked me like oh i heard you have a crush on me and i'm like what like who told you like well i hear things so like do you or don't you have a crush on me and i'm like ah. I do have a crush on you and that was like the hardest thing that I've ever done in my life Tell I got and yeah I'm wearing pajamas under this outfit <laughs> that was like the hardest thing that I ever did it was tell a boy when I was 12 
that I had a crush on him. He's like, well, I actually like you and stuff. And I'm like, well, but you dated, let me call her Jane. I was like, but you dated Jane, so wouldn't that be a little weird? Or he was like, oh, I talked to her and she's really okay with it. And I'm like, okay, okay with what? Because we're not even like a thing. We're not together. And he's like, um, I mean, if you want to, it could be a thing. That was my first time talking to a boy for real. Like, obviously, like back in like sixth grade, I liked a guy and I told him and he told me he liked me. And then he was like, you want to be my girlfriend? I was like, yeah. And he was like, okay. And then he broke up to me two days later for no reason. That was sixth grade. <laughs> it was easy like that. So basically, the guy decides that he wants us to be a thing. And I'm like, okay, what could be a thing? And he was like, okay, you want to go to the room? And I was a little nervous. I'm like, okay, I've never been in a room with a guy before. That's a little weird. He's like, yeah, you want to go in the bedroom so we can talk? I'm like, I'm, we're already in the living room and we're talking. Why do we have to go to the bedroom? He's like, um, I don't know if you want to. Like, I'm not going to force you to go to the room. And I was like, well, okay, that's fine. That was the guest room because nobody used it. That was a guest room. We were sitting on the bed and we were just talking. He was like, have you ever kissed anyone? I was like... I was like sitting literally, I was like this, I was next to him, I was like, no, <laughs> that was so awkward. I was just like, no, I have not. And he's like, oh, I, c I understand that. I have kissed many girls and I'm like, well, that's good to know that you have kissed many girls and you're asking me about my first kiss. Like, that's that doesn't make me feel any better. And I'm like, but you're like 12. And he's like, I know, but I'm experienced. I was like girl are you okay we kept on talking and he starts kissing me and i was like okay i'm going for it we made out like for a good 30 minutes i had no idea what i was doing i had no idea how to kiss anyone i never even had a little kiss before it was awkward. It was weird and awkward and I was dying and the inside of my stomach was going crazy. And that was all that happened. And then we came outside of the room. And my cousins looked at me and they were like, what were you doing? I'm like, nothing, we're just talking. And she's like, oh my god, you guys kissed? I was like... And then he was like, yeah, we did. I'm like, oh my god, that's what a lot of guys can't shut their mouth when they do something with a girl even if it's a kiss or anything he just told them that we were kissing and i was really embarrassed because that was my first kiss and you know what's really weird my step cousin that was 12 she had an older boyfriend that was like 16 i was i don't think it's that wrong i mean if they like each other and she's aware that he's 16 and she doesn't care i'm like go for it but i don't think they were doing things 12 year olds should be doing and I was really concerned. It happened. She's good now, I think. I don't even know because my aunt divorced her father and they're not together. Like, I don't see them anymore. Going back to the story, I thought we got away with sneaking boys into the house. We just did that. I was so happy. The next day, I was like happy. I had a bright smile on my face. I told my best little friend that she was younger than me. She was like my little sister, by the way. Her birthday's tomorrow. Happy birthday. She probably knows who she is. And she and I don't talk that much anymore, but I still love her. Um, I told her, she was like my best friend at the moment. I was like, I just kissed him. And she was like, no way. And I told her everything. Everything that happened that night. And we weren't so lucky because, because the neighbors saw everything. They saw guys coming in, guys coming out. Yeah. Turns out the neighbors told my aunt and her husband that their daughters were sneaking boys into the house and I don't know why that was her concern because uh, I didn't even like her anyway. And they were in big trouble. They were scared to death because their dad was a little crazy and yeah, I wasn't because I was like, the neighbor didn't see me in the house. My cousins are not going to tell me because I never told them them. Turns out they did tell me they betrayed my little 12 year old butt and I was really sad. I was really feeling betrayed. I felt really, I felt so stupid because all this time they did it. I never told them, them and they told me. I was so mad. My mom was literally talking to me that day about it. She was like, 
oh my god do you know that the girls brought guys in the house and she was like were you there i was like yeah i was there but i was in the room with the baby and stuff i didn't i wasn't paying attention to what was gonna she was like yeah those kids are really bad children and stuff like that like she was just complaining about them i think my mom's home oh yeah she's taking out the trash later on we go to my aunt's house because they want to ask me stuff about like what happened and i was just sitting there like that little little innocent 12 year old that i was i was just sitting there like i don't, I don't remember anything i didn't see anything but they wanted more and they were like yeah you don't remember anything because you were making out with charles in the room my mom turned white i turned white i was just like literally for like 10 minutes i was just like i feel so sad i was like no i wasn't i started crying i was looking at my mom like i didn't do anything we just talked i was just talking i was crying for like half an hour and then my mom started like yelling at me she was like i can't believe you would do something like that did you or did you not make out with him i was like i did not i denied her for like half an hour until later on i ended up telling her yeah i did make out with him and i was grounded i was grounded so bad i was grounded like a month but we continued like going out for like that month that i was grounded but we never got to see each other like alone again and we never kissed again after that i went back to that neighborhood when i was 14 and i saw him again and a lot happened but not like yeah and I, that's another that's another story too but turns out it was good that we didn't turn out together because right now he's not the best person so thank you guys so much for watching this story time it was really short really crazy and really weird please comment down below more video ideas that i should do and please like and subscribe and share this i know this was a really weird and boring story time it was not even that exciting but i have really exciting story times that i think you would want to know so yeah thank you again so much for watching can we just appreciate my curls guys this hair is so cute i put it back because like the front did not want to curl like that pretty so i just pinned it back like yeah and i made this choker and i'm not wearing any foundation you can see all my little things like yeah i'm just wearing like concealer and a little bit of bronzer and i and eye makeup and stuff so yeah bye guys i love you thank you Sorry that I couldn't get more into detail, it's really late, my stepdad is sleeping and he has to work and my mom just got back from work and I have to, I mean back from, I don't know, and I have to go like downstairs and stuff so yeah, bye. I have a lot of homework to do so. <laughs>